or eight of these things and never had any luck. Yeah, metaphorically, I've been in many rooms like that yeah. in that time. Yeah, watch the little paws at the top. This one was a PGA golf coach. You put that in there just to give the arms a chance to get back into position before the separation on the way down. He's got a fantastic golf suit, that's for sure. No other question is his talent. I just want to see him realise a little more that he's such a serious young man. I'll get out a second shot on the way at one. There you go. That's what you want to see there. Opening hole. Two good shots. We'll get that one to go for an opening birdie. I think these players, it, it, you know, five under led after one round, five under leading after two. I think it's feasible that four under could actually be leading after today. If these players can get as close to level and give themselves a chance. Maybe within four going out into the last day, that's got to be their kind of target. That's so just get as close to even par as you possibly can. Tommy Fleetwood hitting a beauty. That is going to go wandering over. And that is probably not one of those areas that's defined as a bunker. We'll have to wait and see. Well, of course, this is Pine House number two. It has a, an incredible amount of history. The very first time we were here was in 1999. And here's Wayne to tell us more. Just a great place to get yourself a photo opportunity with the late great Payne Stewart in full pose. Have a look at him. The flat cap, the plus fours, and Payne on his golf shoes. He always had a shiny little bit of steel around the toe. You can see it here on this statue. I was so very lucky to know Payne Stewart so very well. He spent a lot of time in Australia being married to an Australian lady who I knew as well, Tracy. Let's go and check out. Let's go and reminisce. Why wouldn't we? What happened? What unfolded here? At Pinehurst number two, 25 years ago, Payne Stewart came up the week before. He wasn't in great form. He came up here to Pinehurst number two the week before and chipped around from a sand iron to a lob wedge to a three iron, conjuring up shots, working out where he can't miss it. Payne Stewart and Phil Mickelson set up on their first hole for the final day of the US Open. The golf course has changed a little bit this year to way back then. There was a little bit of semi, not this year. Payne Stewart, it was raining that day, that US Open Sunday, so he got his wet weather gear. Didn't like the sleeves. Scissors, chopped them off. It's the only championship Payne Stewart ever played using a yardage book. He always relied on his caddy. Let's go and check out some of the key shots that made him a US Open champion. <laughs> 